Today I'll be showing to you how to run Selenium Motor Motion Test with Firefox Headless Browser. My earlier video I was showing how to do Chrome Driver um, Headless Chrome Browser. Here is the code, uh, and my video is uploaded there. It's already in online YouTube. You guys can uh, take a look. But new video regarding about how to run Automotion Test Selenium Automotion Test Java with Firefox Headless Browser. It's very simple. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, comment out that for now because I'm gonna create a new code. Uh, so add before test, and then I'm gonna say public. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna copy. It's saving my time. I'm just copy, paste my code here. To, okay, and I'm gonna put there. Cool. So over here. You are seeing that uh, we have a Chrome driver with I can say fi Firefox. Uh, Firefox headless browser. Okay, the name Firefox headless browser. Okay, so now I create a method. So we put test method. <coughs> so web driver manager is a Chrome driver. Whoever don't know about WebDriver Manager, basically it's a uh, the manage the all the driver, uh, so you don't have to uh, pass the path always the pass the path because I have a driver Chrome driver. If I if I don't use that, I have to push the system the set property the path for the Chrome driver or uh, or the Gecko driver. But uh, while while I using the WebDriver Manager, I don't have to do that. I just only need WebDriver Manager Chrome driver setup. But over here I'm gonna say Firefox, okay. Firefox driver so set up if I have this line so I don't have to put the animal provide the path okay so now in this case also if you don't know for the regarding for them you need a, this kind of dependency uh, github uh, Bonnie Garcia this this dependency step to you have to add in your form to get uh, to get your uh, what's called um, uh, to get uh, this uh, web driver manager okay so now I say Firefox driver setup now over here Chrome option I can put the Firefox option and over here Firefox options cool and done and over here Chrome driver not we need a Firefox driver am I right Firefox driver that's the changes whatever I do in Chrome over here just changes the Firefox driver so now if I run the test so what will be that it will be run in the Firefox browser it will be run the test so browser will be not open browser will be open but the UI the window the browser window example will not open example if I run the test it will be should be open like that yeah but in this case it will be not appear the UI uh, the browser UI it will be in the headless running in the behind the scene okay so if I run the test You see that Firefox browser is running. Uh, the headless as the headless is running over here. The mention uh, where it's gonna it's gonna go somewhere. Or showing is gone somewhere. Showing uh, the test already passed uh, over here. If you go somewhere, you should see the headless. It was running as a headless, and there is no UI was opening there. So now we know how to run our test with Firefox headless browser. It is very helpful for. Uh, who are who have uh, more uh, work in uh, workload in the uh, in your office or uh, a lot of things to work same time uh, you don't want to run locally test and uh, the window pop up when, while you are doing something uh, for that reason you don't have to worry you just run in the uh, you know the browser uh, headless browser testing you can use the Chrome you can use the Firefox uh, thank you so much for you guys uh, for your time if you think that this video was helpful, feel free to like it, press the like button and feel free to comment. And if you don't subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.